The rift within the Gillard government over the looming budget has deepened, with the former minister Simon Crean vowing to oppose any move to tax earnings on superannuation. There is widespread speculation the government will target high income earners with a crackdown on superannuation tax concessions in the May budget. Joining us at the desk this morning, Sky News Chief Political Reporter Kieran Gilbert. Kieran, in an interesting play. Michael, good morning, good morning, Nina. Yes, indeed. And, and this rift, as you've described it, I think is an appropriate way to assess what's happening here. This is the fallout from the leadership debacle that we saw a couple of weeks ago. And now the fight is about policy, it's about values. And Simon Crean making it clear in the Australian newspaper this morning that he is willing to oppose uh, any changes to superannuation concessions for high income earners, particularly when it comes to earnings within super accounts. He's not saying whether that he'd cross the floor, but again, front page of uh, the national broadsheet saying he would oppose any crackdown. Now, it's very clear this is what the government is considering. Yesterday, Craig Emerson was on Sky News on the Australian Agenda program saying that there needs to be a debate about the tax concessions for, as he described it, the fabulously wealthy when it comes to superannuation. It all will be revealed by the budget, but there is no proposition, no proposition to tax further the superannuation of every, everyday Australians and small business people. That's the truth of the matter. But of course, the only tax proposition that is actually on the table as a policy is Mr Abbott's plan to apply a 15% tax on the income, on the superannuation of people earning up to $37,000, and that's 3.6 million people. That was the Trade Minister yesterday on Australian Agenda. Also on Sky News yesterday was Tony Abbott, the Opposition Leader. Now, he was um, de debating this issue as well with Chris Kenny. He says that they will oppose any, um, any move to uh, remove the, the concessions when it comes to the tax treatment of superannuation, but he hasn't committed at this point to repealing any changes that are included in the May budget. What we can't do is... Uh uh, solve all the problems that this bad government has created overnight. There are many things that this government has done that we don't like, but it will take time to repair the damage that this government has done. Tony Abbott there on the Viewpoint program last night with Chris Kenny and finally Nina and Michael. A big a delegation heading to China. The Prime Minister's announced the largest, most senior delegation uh, will be heading there later this week. She's leading it with the Trade Minister Craig Emerson, also uh, Bill Shorten uh, in, that, uh, in that group and Bob Carr, the Foreign Minister. So a big show of, uh, of commitment, I suppose, to the bilateral relationship after the uh, ascension of the new leader Xi Jinping. Good stuff, Kieran Gilbert. Thank you. Kieran, thanks. Good to have you here. Thank you. Opposition leader Tony Abbott has indicated he will not be backing away from his view on gay marriage if he wins office in September. Speaking on Sky News' Viewpoint program, Mr Abbott reaffirmed he would not hold a conscience vote in the party as long as the coalition's policy on marriage stands. Mr Abbott's declaration comes despite his daughters Frances and Bridget telling News Limited that they have shared their view with their father that same-sex couples should be able to marry. Uh, their mother's done a good job in bringing them up to be forthright young women. It is party policy, uh, coalition party policy, that marriage is between a man and a woman. As long as it's party policy, and that's a matter for the party room, there's no conscience vote. 